Hello, I'm Reed, and welcome to the WHAS 11 YouTube channel. We're glad you are along. This time, we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. We're in Louisville at the Boat and RV Show, and we're inside a half-million-dollar RV. Pretty comfortable here. We're going to talk to Kim. Kim has been associated with the show for many years. Yes, this is my 39th year, believe it or not. 39th year. This show started in 1957, by the way, by William H. King. But Kim is a natural for the show because you grew up around boats and RVs your whole life. I did. I can't remember ever in my lifetime not having a boat or being on the water. Uh, my parents um, boated before I was born, and uh, we continued to do that all of our life. Now, for those of you watching outside the immediate area, this, this is a big show. It has traditionally come in January, late January, dead of winter in this part of the country. And it was a welcome, a welcome thing because it a harbinger of spring. You saw the toys of summer. That's correct. It, you know, it's kind of the get out cabin fever. You know, it's, it's always sunny in here in the spring and everybody looks forward to summer. It's it's the, the first thing that says, okay, summer's coming, winter's going. This show was started by William H. King and you worked for Mr. King. I did. Um, Mr. King, um, I worked for him for 10 years. I had the pleasure of doing that, but he started the show in 1957. Um, he, his, he was just his presence. He was larger than life. He, he filled a room and he was a promoter way well before his time. He, he was a promoter of concerts and shows and events in this particular region, really. He, yes. He's passed now, but everybody remembers him for this show. In just a second, we're going to share with you a piece of the show that continues to live on. It's not used commercially anymore. It's a, it's a famous jingle, and it has a cell line in it that everybody around here knows. What is the cell line? It won't be long till it's that time of year. Right. Everybody in this region has heard that. What I'd like you guys to do, get in touch with me at uh, ryaden at whas11.com. If you know, we're trying to find the source of the creative, where the jingle was cut. It was cut in the 50s, obviously. Uh, who did it and so on. You look through the files uh, that you could find, and, and we can't. I did look through everything that I had, and we cannot find where it originated from. Yeah. So, yes, if anybody out there knows, that would be great to let us know. We would love to put it together. So, right now, enjoy a commercial from show number 35 that features the jingle. This show, the 35th show, would have been somewhere in the 80s, probably. Late 80s, yeah. yes. Late yes. 80s. That would have been show number 35. Enjoy this trip down memory lane. This jingle will get in your head. And this is in loving memory of William H. King. Enjoy.